Uh, but Max Arms, I greatly appreciate it for sending out this HDM um, 1050 12 gauge shotgun. So we're gonna play around with it, see how she shoots, and then we're just gonna go from there. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is probably get loaded up with maybe the five round mag, and then we'll move up to the 10 round mag. So guys, stand by. We're gonna see how this 12 gauge run. I like 12 gauges, by the way. So, all right, stand by. All right, guys, so we got the five round mag loaded up. The 10 round mag is loaded up in the gun, so we are getting ready to fire. So I'm gonna try this 10 round mag out first. I know a lot of companies have problems with 10 round mags, but let's see how this company does with this 10 round mag. So safety is off. And let's rock and roll. Stop right there for a second. Put in there, see how she rolls. I like that. So, the 10 round mag ran pretty good. I think we just lost one round out of it. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna be firing again, just to see if that was just a fluke. Now I will say this, a lot of people say we're supposed to shoot high brass with this. Uh, I'm not shooting high brand, so that's probably what the issue is. Um, so I found these because this is what Walmart had in stock. So I went and got that from Walmart because everybody's buying buckshots and high brands now. So we're shooting that. So it cycled pretty good, you know, because again, it's supposed to be shooting high brands, so we're not shooting high brands. So I think that worked really good. And I think with high brands, we'll run it perfectly with no problem at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to get loaded back up and we're gonna shoot again this time with a little small twist to it so guys stand by mm -hmm. okay guys so now we're gonna try this something a little different we're gonna start with the 10 round mag again but this is something i want to try my son asked what if i only have one arm what are you going to do with a shotgun with one arm so um let's just see what we're going to do so hand is behind my back So get this mess out, take my gun. Now what we'll do is try to see what we do. Alright, mag is empty. Mag is empty in that as well too. Bolt is set back. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to do that too is I wanted to show that, you know, it's not a whole lot of recall. Especially with the rounds I'm using, I'm using some rounds that are traveling 1,300 feet per second. Again, this is a 20 inch barrel, 12 gauge. Um, so it wasn't bad at all. It's something that's comfortable to shoot. I enjoyed it. Handled it with one hand with no problem. Engaging the steel place with no problem as well too. So I would definitely say I like it. So I did add my ear tech to it. Um, I'm not too crazy about um, on the shotgun, just regular, you know, sights like that, but it works. It works with these sights. It works well with the EOTech. I think the EOTech really brings it out as well too. It gives it a little bit more tactical look to it as well. Um, so I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, there's a piston that you can change out for heavier loads and lighter loads. Um, I think it came with the lighter load rounds. I am shooting um, the lighter ro loads. It's supposed to be high brass. This is not high brass, and this is what I'm shooting, so it did very well. Um, I think the problem with the first round was because first time shooting it, um, nine out of 10 ain't bad for me um, as far as cycling that 10 round mag. I wasn't expecting the 10 round mag to really work because I have run into problems with other guns with 10 round mags not working but this 10 round mag surprised me and worked. Uh, the first time it had a little issue. Second time, I think we warmed it, warmed it up a little. So it ran all 10 rounds with no problem. And I was using one arm, one hand shooting that. Um, so usually something with a lot of kick and you're only using one hand shooting, sometimes it will jam up um, if you're not holding the gun tight enough. So uh, this did really well. And again, I want to thank Max Arms for sending this out and sponsoring this video. Um, they made this video possible. They sent this shotgun out so I can try it out and see if I like it. And I do like it. So I will be adding one to my collection. And 
I love the grip. It's got a whole tight grip on it. It's plastic. Real easy on your hands. I like that a lot. I love it. I love it. It's soft. Soft to your hands. I have rough hands anyway, but um, got your sling loops right here. Um, so, you know, I'm not a fan of adding slings to my guns. Um, I'm just not. But at some point, somewhere down the line, I may add one to, to the gun. But overall, guys, I really think this ran really good, uh, especially with the lighter loads. I really wasn't expecting this semi-automatic gun to run those light loads like it did, but it did. I'm impressed with it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, you know, collection. So, guys, as always, thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. All the To all you guys who have subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you. So all this stuff couldn't be possible without you guys. And as always, stay safe, be safe, and watch your six.